Hi, I'm Nikolai. Uh, I live in Berlin and my apartment had a moldy spot. And so I called the janitor because I live on the highest floor and I was afraid hmm, maybe it's leaking from the roof, who knows. And then I asked, and he, he checked and said, nah, it's you, you just need to air your apartment more often. And I felt like, okay, how often? And he said like, well, that's pretty easy. You actually just have to avoid the dew point. And I said, okay. And then I looked up the dew point and I felt like, oh. Because the dew point is, so dew point is the point when the temperature, that is the temperature when the, vo when the water that is saluted in the air as vapor is condensing. And you know all this, this is the, when you have something cold and the drops show up, like a bottle of a beverage or so, or a beer, yeah. And so that depends on these three things, temperature, air pressure, and humidity. And I thought like, okay, I'm not going to do all of this myself. And I thought like, oh, maybe I can buy a little thingy at some kind of store like Pearl or such that will remind me of that. And I looked up, looked them up, and yeah, okay, I thought I would. And I saw there was re nothing really nice. Like there was something for 30 euros that had unfortunately a blinking display. I don't want to have a constant blinking display in my apartment. And there was something that was kind of better with Nagus support, but that was 200 euros, and I thought that is too much. <laughs> And so I thought, like, why is there nothing with Prometheus? And then I thought, like, wait, if they sell me the shitty blinking thing uh, for 30 bucks, they can't be that expensive. And then I thought, oh, I'll just make one myself. And that's what I did. And I chose do those two components uh, for very simple reasons. They're very cheap. Um, <laughs> the first one is a little chip that has Wi-Fi. It's very tiny, it's very small, and it costs $6 if you can wait three weeks and 12 euros if you want to have it now. <laughs> and the other thing is a sensor from Bosch uh, that does the actual measurement, and down there that's the one I bought, but there's other ones too. It's all very cheap and readily available. And I combined these, and the thing is that ship has a firmware that you can build, and you actually can get custom builds that are done in a Docker container somewhere in the cloud through a web interface. That was also nice to see. And um, that firmware is written in Ilua, and there's certain modules available that you can load, so you don't have to do all the things yourself, which is nice. Namely, I2C, which is a protocol for sensors um, of all kinds. Uh, the sensor itself, the Wi-Fi, and a TCP server, and there we get to the thing. This is a very limited device. There is no HTTP server. There's an HTTP client that can't do very big requests because the RAM is very limited. This is a very small machine, and so I somehow stitched together a very prim primitive thing, which is essentially a TCP server that to every connection just, just answers this and closes the connection. <laughs> 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 which is almost okay. <laughs> it does work, though. And you can like see it here. Yeah, yeah, you know, cat is that's what you get. That's the whole thing. <laughs> and um, yeah, so metrics. So there are metrics uh, because I uh, I've actually been I've actually been measuring all of us the whole time, like for the last few hours. This is this room. <laughs> like this is the uh, this is the humidity. You see these large spikes here. So this is we air. We enter the room, we sit here for a while, you can see all of yourself sweating. Uh, <laughs> we leave the room, it goes down, more or less. This thing is what happens when you come over here, what I did before to try out the screen, because over here it's somehow much more humid than over there. <laughs> and uh, down there is the uh, temperature, which behaves similar. Now we get to the bad news. This is the barometer it will not be as nice as it was today, tomorrow. It's falling constantly oh. for hours. <laughs> this is now the dew point, a very good thing. So this is the temperature. Okay. Is the scalar visible? No, yeah. It's like the upper one is 17, the lower one is 16, more or less. So as long as we don't fall below that, very good. This room will not become moldy. <laughs> <laughs> We're all fine with that. And that is pretty much the thing. Like, that's the whole thing. If you want to play with this, this is where it resides. Uh, it's pretty hastily done. Please have mercy. And yes, I know about the race condition with the lock things. I just couldn't find the time yet to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> well.
have fun. And if you want to build one yourself, if you have three weeks of, of patience, you can build it for 13 euros and you have to solder four little things. Thank you.